Ooh, wee. Damn. I am so goddamn tired right now. I did, I did a water change today. Maybe it was yesterday. I think it was yesterday. I don't know. I've been doing with all these water. I think I did do a water change. But let's take a glance at this community tank right here. Whew, I'm tired. This guy is finally not so shy. He's still hiding a little bit, but at least he's out and about swimming, taking his chance. Um, you know, I said I'm not gonna name any more fish, but this might be the next Mark 85. He's a really, really good uh, looking fish. And man, does he remind me of Mark 85. He just got a little bit more pearls than Mark 85. <sighs> All right, I got a big update for you guys. This is not the big update. And I mean, you guys have seen this setup already right here. <sighs> I had a 10 gallon right here that I moved. But damn, let's take a minute to embrace this little guy right here. I moved this half of the other guy. I gave him away. If you guys haven't already um, watched that other video or you guys watched my life, but I did give him away. But let's check, take a minute to embrace this beautiful looking little stud right here. Man, he is amazing. Yeah, I like him a lot. I got him. Um, I said it in the other video before, but I was kind of skeptical of him, but he's turning out really nice and I enjoy him a lot. Just Let's just take a minute to embrace his beauty. He's only, I want to say he's only pushing four inches. Maybe, maybe close to there only, you know? But he's, he's really, really beautiful. Let's go over here to this guy. Wow. Damn, he, he could go on forever with this mare and just himself. He is something else. He is a beautiful little Canfa, F2 Canfa. Um, he's probably my favorite one, um, aside from all my amazing fish, but he, he's something else. I enjoy him probably the most because of his aggressiveness, his attitude, and his, um, his willingness to just stay like this forever. His coat just keeps going and going and going. Um, it's a slow growth, but it's getting there, you know, for this size of fish. And uh, he's getting there. Him, he's just a little bit bigger than this chump right here. This guy got a bigger Coke, but this style of Coke is going to take some time to grow. And it's forming into his face as well. And that's probably one of the biggest things that I like about this camphor right here. He is an amazing looking little fish. Um one big thing that's coming up i did bought a female f1 over in thailand to mix with this cross with this camel hopefully fingers crossed she did lay eggs overseas um hopefully this guy is fertile and she does her job for him and just fingers crossed i'm waiting for her to come in as well um yeah i've been testing this guy f1 out um I mean, once the female gets tired of him and she doesn't lay anymore, he gets aggressive. He turns back into a monster and just starts attacking her. That's what happened with the parrot down there. I'm not trying to breed him. I'm going to take her out in a bit. But um, once her cycle is done, he just goes back and attack her. So I had to take her out. Um, but I am still trying to breed him, maybe an SRD female, and get me some F2s with this F1 guy. I don't know if, if that works, but from, my, uh, from what I've talked to overseas, they'll give me some F2s. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. This guy is amazing. He's a beautiful fish right here. Amazing F2, I mean, amazing two-tone. Oh, there he is, he, he popped out, He's see? He's got more of a two-tone when he's kind of stressed that by half body just goes into like a grayish color. He's an amazing, beautiful fish. Zoom in real quick, let's go. Don't, don't shy away yet, don't shy away yet, let's go. Let's go. Oh hell yeah, he's hella nice. 
let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below he's an amazing fish all may he's on he knows that i'm recording him now he's getting a little shy all right back to the back to the setup change all right and now this sorry for the mess over here my son's been playing having on time to change that Gotta clean up that because I'm trying to change this up. I got this 55 for this. Oh, damn. I forgot to put this away. But I got this 55 gallon with no stand. And I'm like, you know what? Might as well get a stand for it. Head up one of my buddy Chris. You got a stand ready for me. Grabbed it. Pop it in. Um, I moved the, the stones away. The center blocks. And um, I got the water up to like 10% at the bottom. The fish was swimming. Um, I try to be as minimal as possible, trying not to make so much movement for them so they don't stress. Um, and then I took some water from there. I took some water from there, filled it up halfway, right past where the heater is. And then I filled up the rest with tap water. And look at them, they're all doing an amazing job looking good yes i did move this guy from this 20 gallon because he needs his own space and this guy wasn't having it he was just coke drop everything color gone not looking so great so i'm just like you know what i'm tired of this guy he's gonna share his space and you know he likes it same with this guy he likes his own he likes sharing space and um i got this 10 gallon right here with the little camphor probably update you guys that in another video um i do have a camphor in here and i moved this guy right here too so um i know the space is kind of crammed but i put the two uh, cylinder block right here because um i wasn't sure if this tank long side was gonna fit just put it there just in case but it didn't fit and i was like i'm tired of move this tank i'm just gonna sit on top of the cylinder tank cylinder block which is not too shabby you know good good height for this tank it's gonna be a lot lower than the 20 gallon so i rather have the fish see each other so i don't have to do so much grooming if you guys are local in sacramento i have some black diamond and i have some white sand hit me up I, we could work out a deal but besides that, this is the new setup. So I don't have, I have more space right here. Winter is coming. Well, winter is not here yet, but it's gonna be fall soon. And we do have a little bit of rain in Sacramento here. So I'm just trying to prep for the worst, you know, get everything on shoulder height or stand height. Especially these tanks. I need these tanks to be on the same height like those other tanks over there too. Let me know what you guys think about this new setup. Um, it's not much, but to me, it's a lot ready. Let's check this guy out. Yeah, like I said, it's a lot for me. Um, if you guys do watch the uh, the lives for 916 Aquatics or CFC, I'll, and you guys are on the group as well, I'll be going to the shop more to um, go live over there so you guys could check out some fish. Um, and not just look at the same boring fish that I have. So, um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I'll probably be on live on there as well too. I'm gonna try to be more live on YouTube and um, maybe on my Facebook, I'll go on more live as well. I have gone on live on there, but it's something, it's a new thing I'm trying out. So let me know what you guys think um, and drop down in the comments down below how you guys like this new setup. I know it's not much um, sorry I'm saying this again but yeah it is not much for a lot of you guys but for a fish keeper like us when we get one thing it means a lot especially for a small little galleria like this of flower horns and a community tank I do have a pond over there as well too that is it for this video let me know what you guys think in the comment down below remember to like comment and subscribe deuce